Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And yes, we are doing a video marathon today. The weather is beautiful. The snow is melting. We are getting new RVs from the factory daily. Camping season is upon us and we are all fired up here at the dealership. And we've got the very first to our dealership here, the brand new Solitude um 382 wb wb stands for wet bar and you know what i'm gonna throw you all a curveball i usually do the outside first but we're gonna jump inside the trailer first because i am just so jacked up on this floor plan and i want to show you guys all that it has to offer on the inside of the trailer uh, we walk right into the kitchen to start and one of the things that i'm absolutely amazed with the uh, the new wet bar design so just to uh, explain this a little bit the first uh, version of this trailer came out as a 380 fl which they still produce today and what you get with the fl is everything's the same other than you don't get the wet bar right here what you get in place of that is the uh, the half bath and i shot a video on that uh, it'll be further down the list on our YouTube page, but that's the 380 FL. The thing that I love about the wet bar is that it makes your kitchen feel that much bigger because you don't have a wall much closer cutting into your kitchen space. And you get a lot more prep area if you're, if, if you're a bit of a chef and you like to prepare you know, meals for your family. Um, you've got the cool little wine rack slider. You, know, you, you can slide your uh, wine glasses in upside down. Uh, they've got it all backlit there with the mirrors and everything to be able to display your, you know, if you're a bit of a wine connoisseur or what have you. Um, absolutely beautiful they've done with the wet bar. You've got the little prep sink there. You know, if you're doing your veggies and you want to be able to fan out a little bit and get two people working in the kitchen, husband and wife or something, you know, if you like to prepare meals, you got a couple of different workstations in here. You've got the smaller, uh, you know, clear glass front uh, bar fridge there as well. And uh, I think they've just done an absolute fabulous job. Pull out garbage can with this uh, particular layout. So much, much bigger in the living area or the kitchen area compared to the 380 FL. Some people still like the half, half bath. The one disadvantage to this, and you know, I'll, I'll say it just because it is what it is. If you have guests staying with you, if they've got to use the toilet in the middle of the night, they do have to walk through your bedroom. But you know what? We've got a lot of feedback from people and some people that doesn't really matter to them. They would rather have a much bigger kitchen. You know, maybe this is a seasonal site type trailer that you're parking on a lake lot or something like that. And you only have guests once in a while and you've got a shower house with a toilet outside or something that you can use. Um, this particular one may be perfect for you. So again, you get the hutch right here, the front elevated living room behind it. But I'm just amazed. I'll just kind of shoot around here and show you the amount of storage you get the 18 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, which you can access by the way, when the slide outs are fully retracted, which is nice. They've upgraded, gone to a new style faucet on this one as well. Uh, the monster uh, stainless steel sink in the solitude as well that they've been running since their inception. So beautiful, beautiful setup here. You got the Furion oven, which you can light that oven right off the knobs, as opposed to using the sparker the old school way. You've got the uh, residential inspired gas range with the sparker here as well and the uh, convection microwave stainless steel style and a great big pantry. So beautiful, beautiful kitchen in the solitude folks. They're really going the extra mile. One of the things to touch on with Grand Design, they produce their products to be warrantied for full time live in use. Why do you see so many YouTube personalities living in their RVs in Grand Designs? Well, when they build them great, but you also get that full time live in warranty, which is very important. A lot of products in the industry, folks, historically, they kind of cap you off at 90 days. And if you start living in your trailer beyond 90 days, sometimes they start pulling back on warranty concerns and you don't really want that. So. Again, Grand Design, they build their trailers right. They're not afraid to stand behind it with a full-time live-in use warranty because they build their products to support their warranties. They've done that since day one. 
uh, one of the things six foot eight slide outs here folks ton, you know tons of headroom in your slide box here you've got huge huge windows they can put big windows in their slide outs because you have the structure in the sidewall to support the windows and they're not afraid to spend the money on those things you know every single window opening is framed in with aluminum a lot of products today folks they can't put the big windows in because they simply don't frame in around all those window openings grand designs investing the dollars in structure and uh, you know you, you, your trailer is just going to stand the test of time a lot better but check out the wood uh, wood inlay on the window valances they've done just a spectacular job with the solitude again in this you've got the uh, uns you know no leg table mounted right to the wall so as you're sliding in and out you're not smashing your knees off of table leg uh, two of these chairs fold away so if it's just two people and you want a little more space make it a little easier to get in and out two of those chairs fold up and you can kind of tuck them out of the way so uh, we're going to shoot up front here before we do a couple things you got the tow uh, dust sweep for your central vac uh, and then the connection for your central vac hose spot for you can you know slide your shoes and such out of the way Again, all vinyl upper deck here, so no carpet here to uh, get beat up and that sort of thing. Easy to sweep out. Notice there's no heat ducts on the floors in the Grand Design products, folks. They've done that as a DNA item since day one. And uh, they asked RV owners what they wanted in their trailers, and th that was one of the things. No heat ducts in the floor to fill up with dirt and debris and be in the way. You have to sweep around them. They snake all of the heat ducts through the cabinetry and through uh, through the walls and stuff to just to make it uh, a little nicer for you, even heat distribution throughout your trailer and and to touch on that <clears throat> a lot of manufacturers they run a groove down the middle of your floor they cut a track and then they punch holes in the floor um, and that that one track supports the heat throughout the trailer well by the time that run ends you're getting very little heat out of that heat duct grand design has a dedicated heat duct that comes directly off the furnace to each vent and so they're really helping to distribute that heat throughout the trailer far far better so again we're up front theater seating heat and massage electric open and close this has the linen interior so it's got the lighter fabric everything stays the same depending the only thing that changes when you want the let's say if you wanted to go with the java interior uh, the only thing that changes is your furniture meaning your couches and your theater seating the dinette stays the same the flooring stays the same the countertop stays the same and they do that for quality purposes too many changes on the assembly line will affect uh, the quality of their product and grand design has done such an amazing job in refining the manufacturing process on the rvs to ensure they're offering the best quality built product they can so power lift up and down television this is on a uh, little switch right here we'll just power lift that down or power drop it and the cool thing about this being a front living room is you get the the automotive bonded windshield right up front in your front cap here which uh, creates for a real nice open uh, look front end of your trailer your living room it just really opens it up you know if you got a lake lot or something you're parking the trailer on you got a beautiful view you know you can sit down in the morning here look out your front windshield and just have an absolute spectacular view of uh, where you're at so and that's a bonded windshield just like what you'd have in your vehicle it's mounted just like what you have in your vehicle so it's super super strong and there is a shade that will come down and uh, close that off for nighttime purposes the other th cool thing about this layout folks is you can transform this into a front bedroom if you want there's a curtain they hang there with a track so if you have guests, both of these sofas roll out. The nice thing with Grand Design, because this is a wide body trailer, it's 101 inches wide, you have a walk space down the middle between the two sofas when they're folded out into bed position. A lot of other products, they're eight feet wide. When these beds roll out, they meet in the middle, which makes it a lot more difficult to walk around. Or in some cases, depending on the depth of the slide out that the manufacturer is putting in, sometimes you can only use one bed or the other. With the Solitude, you can use both at the same time if you have some grandkids staying with you uh, some guests that sort of thing um, you know this transforms into one great big bedroom up front here to be able to sleep for people comfortably so really really cool the fireplace in here as well is also a 5000 BTU heater uh, which really goes to the heating of the trailer uh, paired with your 35,000 BTU furnace super super efficient okay and that furnace will actually heat your tanks as well 
Also, you have the 12 volt heat blankets on the tanks as well to get you from point A to point B. So if you're a snowbird and you're wanting to head south for the winter, you can just flip those switches on. They're right in here, right by your front door. You've got your convenience center here. I pre-wire, option in the generator pre-wire. So if you wanna go completely off the grid, you can with this trailer. So you've got the pre-wire for your generator right there. Um, convenience center for your tanks. Also your tanks, while we're touching on this, your fresh water tank, 63 gallons. Gray tank, 106 gallons. Now that shares between your kitchen and your bathroom, which each have their own separate tank. Uh, 106 gallons combined, and then your black tank is 53 gallons. If you go to the 380 FL with the half bath, you get 106 gallons of black. Uh, because you're picking up that extra toilet. Um, gas electric hot water heater switches here. You've got your tank heater switches here. Um, porch light, awning light uh, to open and close your awning switches are right here. 15 and a half foot awning, uh, your front awning, and then 14 and a half foot awning uh, going to the back of the trailer. So you've got a ton of awning space on this trailer as well. We'll show you when, you, when we head outside. And then you've got your slide switches here as well. So in this particular trailer, you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five slide outs. So tons and tons of slide out uh, um, room to make this like a little cottage. Luxury condo on wheels. So a light switch here, turn that on. You're cooking, you can see the shines a light down right over top of your, uh, your cooking area. We're gonna shoot up to your uh, bedroom space here. You got some extra storage, hanging jacket storage here for you know coats and that sort of thing. Um, I optioned in or stuck with the standard queen size bed on this particular floor plan. This is a residential queen bed, so it's 60 wide by 80 inches long. And why I went with that was just simply to give you a little more walk space down each side of the bed. The king bed does eat up the space a little bit more. It makes it a little tighter to get down the side of the bed. For people that have to have a king bed, you can get it. Um, basically what you lose are these nightstands on either side of the bed, which don't give you much to begin with. But um, the thing I liked about this was that it is a residential queen bed. If you don't like the mattress, you can go to any mattress shop and uh, the, a regular queen bed from any mattress store will fit the same dimensions. The only thing that would change is the height if you go to a super thick pillow top. So uh, again, Grand Design giving you that flexibility and lots of space to move around in your bedroom. You've got uh, wardrobes on either side of the bed, or sorry, of the television area. This, your, uh, your dresser here does have the flip up for your uh, jewelry and such. So all solid wood, uh, tabletops, all solid wood slide casings. You do get the USB connections and power outlets on either side of the bed. So if you have a CPAP machine, you wanna hook up that sort of thing, you can definitely do it in this one. So really really nice <clears throat> and then you come into your uh your bathroom hey guys how's it going there i am i don't typically like to be in the mirror but in this case i am because this is a gigantic mirror check that out it's all backlit you've got the dual sinks look at the counter space in here like if you're a snowbird heading south for the winter you like a lot of space in your bathroom you're used to a big bathroom at home this one will get it done for you great big encore shower one piece fiberglass shower surround. There is a seat in here, the shelf. So very much residential inspired, fully adjustable shower head. And then if you wanna do a combo washer dryer, that is all right in here. So you could do a combo unit right here or a stackable unit or nothing at all. And you just pick up a whole ton of storage, linen storage or whatever. So beautiful. Pocket door back here as well, no swinging door to take up space. You do get the window, help ventilate the trailer. It is an emergency exit, but you know, check out, when do you get this kind of storage in a bathroom in a trailer? You don't, except in this floor plan and the 380 FL. So I can see people that have a seasonal site or something going with something like this. All vinyl upper deck. Beautiful. Both AC units on this, folks. There's two. They're standard. 15,000 BTU air conditioners. I option in the heat pump, and that goes on the living room air. So if you're in an area where you're able to plug into shore power, you don't want to burn your propane or you're getting lower or just simply ran out, but you want to take the edge off with the temperature, you can run that heat pump on that uh, Coleman Mach air conditioner. Grand design, folks. <clears throat> 
They use the Stealth AC system. It uses a racetrack duct work, which interconnects the entire duct work system to circulate the AC output back through the air conditioner, making it super, super efficient, okay? Um, it just doesn't, a lot of manufacturers with their ACs, they have a line that comes off, goes down in dead ends. Then they have another line that comes off and goes down in dead ends. And you get a lot of diffusion in those air conditioning ducts, okay? And in a lot of cases, that AC output, once it gets to the end, no different than I was talking with the furnace, with the heat track cutting the floor with some manufacturers, you don't get a lot of heat when you get to the end or a couple end units or ducts. Same thing on those AC systems. This AC system literally is interconnected like a NASCAR racetrack. Okay, so both AC units are connected to it. You can have one AC producing the AC for the entire trailer, it's gonna do it, and it circulates it back through, um, which makes it the most efficient uh, AC unit. Uh, and the, the Coleman Mach compressor is the most efficient compressor on the market. Grand Design was actually offered the Whisper Quiet Mode uh, AC system through factory testing. They found it actually to be quite a bit less efficient with Grand Design. Uh, they've gone to the Stealth AC system, the racetrack ducting paired with the Coleman Mach and industry leading R values. Your air conditioning system is gonna cycle on and off far less uh, with this than it would be other manufacturers' products making it way more efficient. Uh, and so they're getting it done and we have a lot of customers that are just absolutely loving the AC systems on their Grand Design trailers. So a little more detail, a little more info there for you. Um, I hope I've covered enough inside on this 382 WB. One thing to note for the 2020, they added vinyl decking for the, uh, the dinette or main slide in their, uh, in their trailers to try to eliminate as much of the carpet as possible. That was a new addition that they did for the, uh, for the 2020. Nice uh, roof decorative design with the lighting. Uh, you've got the uh, max fan with rain sensor there as well remote switch down below to turn that on and off and we're gonna head outside so one entrance to this trailer folks not a dual entrance trailer you do get the rise above step which has the ram assist to it so it makes it you know adjusting these legs really nice if you're camping on uneven ground and one leg has to be a little higher or lower than the other it's self-supporting so it makes adjusting the legs a lot easier if you're a smaller person not as strong it makes getting the the, the step in and out a whole lot easier which is nice so we'll bring that down so <clears throat> solitude since their inception it's been 101 inches wide what are the benefits you get a lot more space on the inside trailer, on the inside of the trailer, a lot more usability in terms of storage. Um, in terms of the, the tank capacities, you have more underbelly availability to put in the larger tanks, which they do. They've done that since day one. They insulate their tanks between the frame rail and the holding tank. A lot of manufacturers that are the narrow body or the eight foot wide trailers, that holding tank is right up against that frame rail. So if you're doing some colder weather style camping, you know, you got more chance for issues with Grand Design because they insulate all the way around that tank. Um, and underneath they run the double bat insulation. Um, you get far superior R values. So from the top down, your roof on a solitude is R40, which transfers down your front cap. They use a two and a quarter inch sidewall on the solitude. So that gives you an R11. It's one of the thicker sidewalls in the industry. And then through your floor with that double bat insulation, you actually get an R45, uh, which gives you that superior R value, which is really nice. We've sold a lot of the solitudes and momentums to fellows that work in the oil field that spend a lot of time throughout the winter in their, in their fifth wheels. So again, like I mentioned, we're back outside here at the front of the trailer, Grand Design true to form using a fully automotive painted front cap. Again, the bonded windshield up top gives you a real sharp look. It's got the integrated LED lighting on that front cap and the graphic package that they use on it is a 3M graphic, which gives you a five-year warranty, 12 months, no questions asked replacement. Far superior graphic has a higher UV protection on it. So it's gonna stand, we stand the test of time. We've got um, some products of Solitudes and Grand designs that have been traded in you know five six years old and the graphics look pristine on them and uh, they're, they're really doing the job and spending the money on those things new update for 2020 they've gone to the more ride pin box which is a rubber dampener built right into it 
the big bushing here so this basically helps reduce the amount of chucking when you're accelerating taking off from a stop position or you're having to put the brakes on it just helps soften that 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 chucking sound and and banging that sometimes you can get within your hitch and people really like that more ride name super strong very good product rated for 18,000 pounds um, I mentioned earlier you could go totally off the grid with this particular trailer I do pre-wire it with the generator prep so if you want to add a 5500 watt uh, Onan LP generator you can do it right inside that that uh, steel case right there all the plumbing the wiring everything is there uh, to be able to do that Grand Design has also gone to a dual battery box system so installing dual six volt batteries is so much nicer um, the other thing that I why I would consider this a potential off the grid trailer is I did option in I, I think I mentioned it inside has a 3000 or sorry a 300 watt uh, Jaboni solar panel up on the roof it's all hardwired into the system and it comes with a magnum 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter so you can watch your entertainment every plug and Inside the trailer is wired up to the inverter that they've got inside here so it doesn't matter where you're at in the trailer if there's a plug you'll be able to what you know hook up a 110 component to that plug and watch it right off your batteries the inverter converts 12 volt power to 110 power uh, which is real nice uh, for this type of trailer to be able to get it done for you so a uh, couple things we do got the side prep Furion for the uh, uh, pre-wire for the camera package so if you want to do the side cameras and the rear camera it's all pre-wired for it grand design setting it up nice and easy for you you've got your utility compartment here because it's a front living room your pass-through storage up front isn't as large uh, which is kind of typical for your pass-through storage but um, we'll show you something out back that makes this one real special this does have the Lippert Z rated chassis so you've got the uh, this is the 10 inch I-beam right here okay and then you go to a 12 inch i-beam main rail okay so this drop frames down that's that steel portion right here okay and what that gives you is a seamless flat floor from one side to the other it's a whole lot more narrow on this side than it is the other side and i'll show you when we go to the other side uh, but you've got that seamless flat floor which gives you really tall pass-through storage compartment up front uh, real nice there's your control uh, module remote for your uh, six point auto leveling system it's hydraulic they pull that that out uh, to make it you know ac ac making it accessing it so much nicer easier to access easier to read and utilize that sort of thing Nautilus P1 utility center on this it's got the outside shower the water pump switch black tank flush it's all color coded with the valves all of those things to do your dry camping power tank fill winterization it is so easy to use whole house water filtration system does about 6,000 gallons of water uh, so you know helps remove the sediment out of the lines that you might pick up out of a well wall Water or that sort of thing depending on where you go camping they do run a heat duct into this uh, spot here as well for those cold weather type campers as well and uh, you can keep it locked and closed you know it's all sealed up real nice they do uh, do a phenomenal job with that uh, furnace 35,000 BTUs I mentioned that already and then you're, you've got the suburban hot water heater 12 gallon uh, on this as well cool thing there's the the pull valve pull handle for your uh, fresh water tank you're not having to get on your back to pull out a cap out of the end of a half inch water line you just pull that valve and that'll dump your tanks real fast so again I apologize this unit's a little dirty I like shooting the videos as these trailers are showing up from the manufacturer because you're seeing them just as they went through a 2,000 mile journey we're not putting them through the shop first to address the issues like you deal with with some manufacturers Grand Design every trailer goes through almost a 300 point inspection right at their factory every single trailer since their inception goes through it which really helps ensure that you know the trailer when it gets to the dealership it's in good shape which is a testament to their quality and how long they're gonna you know stand that test of time I can talk all day long on that but uh, again you've got the uh, uh, 16 inch tires uh, 7,000 pound axles on this one CRE 3000 Moride suspension system Dexter uh, axles which gives you the five-year warranty easy lube hubs you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway uh, makes it really easy save yourself hundreds of dollars having to get a dealer to do it uh, I am a dealer we don't mind doing wheel bearing repacks but hey if you can do it in your driveway why not uh, never adjust brakes and then that Westlake lion's head tire does come with that five-year warranty 12 months no questions asked replacement uh, which is really really good um, 
this is where this trailer shines folks is the exterior storage because you've got the elevated bedroom and bathroom this has cavernous and i mean cavernous outside storage like look at the storage on this thing the first time they launched this elevator or this uh, lower storage was on the 375 res a few years ago they had a couple of kayaks slung up in the top of the storage compartment you can there's a netting here that you can pull down and literally put super long items here you've got the uh, more ride slide out tray rated for 800 pounds you can put a ton of gear on there and pull that out with you or to you i guess <clears throat> super tall baggage doors like look at all the aluminum tubing fully bead welded okay and you get all the grand design quality folks every vertical wall panel is laminated okay all framed in with aluminum lamalux 4000 gel coat sidewall on the solitude okay there's no butyl tape on this trailer whatsoever i would climb up on the roof but it's got some snow up on top and uh, it's just not safe for me to do that but uh, dual acs up on top full walk on roof full walk on slide boxes they're doing things to their trailers that you don't get with a lot of other products so monster monster pass-through storage on this uh, 382 wb tons of awning space like check out your awnings here boom fantastic three-year structural warranty they were the first manufacturer to come out with it why they built their product to support the industry leading warranty folks a lot of manu some of the other manufacturers have come out with a three-year structural warranty warranty lately the difference is they didn't change how they built their products they just raised their plate prices to accommodate the warranty concerns grand design they built their assembly lines around the type of product they wanted to produce and that's why everybody's chasing them right now and we are just so grateful to be able to represent this brand at our dealership at woody's rv in leduc we are the exclusive grand design dealer uh, in the market this is the only product we carry is the grand design right from their transcend all the way up to the solitude momentum reflection imagine and uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it so like to come by our dealership we're in Leduc just 15 minutes south of Edmonton if you can't make it to us here in Leduc we've got other locations to serve you Calgary Red Deer Edmonton Grand Prairie Saskatoon and uh, Chase is out there in BC getting Abbotsford set up as well so we've had a lot of people come from BC Sask uh, Saskatchewan Manitoba uh, inquiries from the US to come out and do business with us here because of these videos and just really want to come alongside people to help educate them and teach them about uh, what grand design is all about show them a superb RV purchase experience and all that stuff so we have fun here we're ready to go camping this year ready to have you come by our dealership check out the reviews on the products as well check out the reviews on the dealers i encourage you doesn't matter where you're at type into google woody's rv world leduc you'll hear lots of stories from customers that have chosen to do business with us here and uh, you get to just a true testament of what we're trying to do here so again my name is clayton phillips i shoot the videos here on uh, youtube on the grand design products and and other things as well but uh love to invite you down to our dealership our phone number is 780-986-1234 thank you for your time happy camping hope you are well and look forward to seeing you soon thanks for your time bye bye